Welcome to Castles and Canals. It's day two of our four-night European cruise on the Disney Dream. Today's a sea day, so let's start the day with some coffee at Cove Cafe. Good morning. It is day two on the Disney Dream. We had a nice sleep. The ship is rocking quite a bit, uh, so it was kind of like a nice rocking, rocking to sleep kind of motion. So I slept really, really nice, really, really hard. It's around 9 o'clock now. Nope, 10 o'clock. Oh, sorry, 10 o'clock now. Because it changed. Because time changed. And uh, we stopped in Cove Cafe to get some coffee. And then we saw in the cruise group that somebody said that there are churro waffles, churro Mickey waffles in Cabanas. So we're going to go check those out and see if we can find them. But we're not going to eat too much because we have Palo Brunch at 1230. So we'll be saving a lot of space for that. Tori will. I will. They don't enjoy it too, it'll be fine. All right, so after several cruises, Lots of false hopes. We finally found the Mickey Churro Waffle, the famed elusive treat. Um, when you walk into Cabanas, the first place, uh, we walked on the left side of the, of the ship, the sorry, starboard, starboard side of the ship, and the first place where they have waffles, they didn't have the churro waffles. We had to walk back to the second section that had waffles, and we found them. With the weight. Oh my guys are so good. They're soft, the outside's a little bit crispy. They're not really churro, they're just the churro flavoring, so you get the cinnamon and sugar on the outside. Absolutely delicious. Well worth waiting four plus cruises to find it, so. Yay, churro waffles. gallons of heated dip, pu dip pumped at enormous velocity through a pressurized water cannon. Toontown will be erased in a matter of minutes. Who said it? Yes, absolutely. Judge of Doom from Who Framed Roger Rabbit. Very nice indeed. That seems to be a confident start. <laughs> Now question two, in The Little Mermaid, what are the names of Ursula's two pet eels? Flotsam and Jetsam. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy, Flotsam and Jetsam. <laughs> Alright, Disney Villains Trivia Take Two. We did it last year in the Dream. Yep. Did fairly poorly. Very poorly. <laughs> This year a bit better. Yeah, we are 17 out of 20, so we're definitely in like the top like two or three, I, I would say. The winner had 19, but I was really proud of us for overall. I mean, we missed an obvious one with Lotso, but other than that, I think we did really well. I'm just pleased that I pulled Doom out of my ass for the Roger Rabbit question. Yeah, I was Judge like, Doom. Wow, that was that was deep in the knowledge bank. Yeah. Pulled it out. So. We just have to keep coming on cruises, and then we'll get more and more knowledge. Yes. That's the way you win Disney cruises. You do enough of the things, so you learn all the questions, yeah. and then you just know the answers. Yeah. On right. to the next trivia. <laughs> Ninth floor. Nana. <laughs> It's hard to beat the views you get dining here. Coincidentally, we were seated at the same table where we had dinner here last year. 
At Paolo, you'll start out with a complimentary glass of bubbles. Cheers. Cheers. Also included is a tasty assortment of breads and pastries, including this gorgeous Nutella muffin. Have a delicious pizza for a starter? Don't mind if we do. Tori couldn't decide between the lasagna and the chicken parm, but that's okay. You can have both if you like. After brunch, we headed to the Walt Disney Theater to catch the matinee of Beauty and the Beast on stage. So we just got back from seeing the matinee of Beauty and the Beast. So the nice thing on sea days is they give you three chances to watch the show. Um, we saw Beauty and the Beast previously and it was as amazing. Sorry, I just got distracted because the door is blowing in between um, the verandas because it's really choppy and windy outside. Um, but we saw Beauty and the Beast. It was as spectacular as the last time I cried, I clapped, I cheered, I sang all of it. Um, the one thing with it being the matinee and this cruise being before school goes back is it was full of kids, a lot of screaming, um, which you know when we're coming on a Disney cruise, but there was just more of it because we were at the earliest of shows. But even with how rocky the ship is, like you couldn't see it at all from the cast perspective like they were flawless um but we actually had to race to it because we wanted to do it at two but we were at paolo for brunch beforehand yeah yeah so i booked paolo on this trip uh, we had paolo for brunch on the wish mm -hmm. it was amazing i loved it and i was like well we since this ship is full so full of first timers we had the ability to get in early and get a nice time for brunch at paolo so we did that mm -hmm. Um, first of all, our server, Alejandra from Mexico, was fantastic. Fabulous. She was like one of the best servers we've had at any of the, the, the adult dining restaurants. Mm -hmm. um, the food was amazing. She did say the lasagna, her, she liked the lasagna over the chicken parm. It was my first time trying lasagna. While it was very good, it did not unseat the chicken parm in terms of my very favorite dish there. Um, the pizza was as delicious as always. Mm hmm it was very good. The pastries and the bread. The problem with Palo is like there's so much good food. And even if you show up hungry, you get full very fast. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so like you always only eat way, way more than you can actually like put in your stomach. Um, but for $50 a person, it's a really good deal, I think. For brunch. For brunch. Sorry, for brunch. Yeah, dinner is more expensive. Um, but $50 for brunch, all you can eat. Includes a, a glass of Prosecco or Mimosa. Um absolutely delicious yeah i mean it's great for someone that's not a picky eater so paolo is not something that i really enjoy because it's not necessarily my style of food meaning that it's fancier too much and cheese. way too much <laughs> cheese because i feel like every entree has cheese on it um but i know it doesn't so either way it's not really my scene um so i always feel like i pay 50 dollars to watch tori have a really good experience which is also fine because she really enjoys it but i'm really looking forward to when we go on the treasure and our friends are with us and they can go to the restaurant with her and then i don't feel like i'm just sitting there being the worst attendee ever because I did say that to the woman because it was like I had Prosecco I had a bit of the bread I had some of the pizza and then I didn't need anything else also I wasn't hungry for anything else so I was like perfectly content so I said to her I'm like the worst Paolo person ever because most people go there they spend three hours and I'm like in and out in 45 minutes so it's a really great atmosphere it is fantastic but like it has to be for the right person so you have to just think about that. Or if you just really love the person you're going with and you want to watch them be so excited about every single item. Yeah, I took some video of the menu so you can see there's other things too. There's like 
uh, charcuterie kind of plate. There's a couple different of those. Antipasto. Antipasto, sorry. Yeah. Um, either vegetarian, non-vegetarian. You can get Mickey waffles. There's a series of egg dishes and stuff. So there's there's a wide variety of selection there. Yeah. Um, if you don't like certain things. But um, chicken parm, by far the best dish. It's like renowned for, for what they have there. Yeah. Highly recommend it. But one thing also is, so you can't take anything to go. But if your server is as fantastic as ours, she will kind of walk you out to the end of the restaurant and then let you take something with you. Um, so we did that because we've heard amazing things about the cinnamon bun, walnut covered cinnamon bun thing. We're going to post a picture of it because I don't remember what it's called. Um, but she gave us that to kind of take away because also Tori was not ready for any sort of dessert. So we ended up taking one back. So you're not supposed to take anything home, but she did a fantastic job of letting us take something away. Yeah, we'll try that a bit later. It was off the dessert menu, but uh, yeah, excited to try that. Yeah. But I think for now, we've dined well, we've been entertained, so I think it's time to go use that Rainforest Room Pass we got. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, first we're going to try to figure out what's happening with this door, um, <laughs> because the wind is bonkers. Um, but luckily, knock on, tap on wood, touch wood, whatever you say, um, we're feeling okay so far. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's time to um, probably, I'm going to get a snack <laughs> since I didn't eat as much at Paolo. Um, and then we'll hit the, the rainforest room. Get a little sauna action, as some people say. A little sauna, a little heated chairs, hopefully a little hot tub if they're not totally filled up. Fingers crossed. Cool. All right. See you later. The rest of our day was spent lounging around and relaxing. Dinner was a quick bite on the pool deck, and we closed out the evening with a trip to the rainforest room. In the rainforest room, you'll find steam rooms, a sauna, four different shower experiences, several heated loungers, and two two-person hot tubs. That does it for day two. Tori might have fallen asleep on the stone loungers only to wake up right before the spa closed. Whoops. Join us in our next video where we enjoy our only port of the cruise, La Coruña, Spain. Yeah.